Welcome back to a series about DAS Studio, the free 3D content manipulation app from DAS 3D. I was talking about installing content in one of my earlier videos and I forgot to mention that there is something that you can do if you organize your content into several subfolders. I've discussed this recently with a friend of mine and he was saying, isn't there a way that I can ask Install Manager to put my content somewhere else? So for example, you may have Genesis Generation 1 content and you want that in one folder and you want Genesis Generation 2 content in another folder. Or maybe you have an external hard drive that now that your computer is running out of space, you want to migrate content to and perhaps you want to uninstall content from your local hard drive and want to reinstall content on an external hard drive. Well, that is possible with Install Manager and here's how this works. There's something we haven't quite discussed about Install Manager and that is a little tick box at the very bottom here that says Show Details. If you do that, then a little window opens up and that's true for all these tabs. So no matter which tab you're in, they all have this little disclosure triangle. If you, have, if you open that, then you can see more options down here. And especially in uh, the installed tab, you can see where what content is installed. So if you click on one product in particular, you get a bit of an um, expanded view of what's going on here. So in this case, the 3D Universe Toon Mouse has a file list that I can bring up. If I click on that, then I can see what files were shipped with that product and I can have a look where they are and, and uh, have a look exactly where that is and do something with them. This also gives me the path to where they are installed. So the content is currently installed in users shared my DAS 3D library. And that's on a Mac. On Windows, it's a similar folder, but this is on a Mac. So this is why that shows me where that is. So, but the install manager at installation makes a determination as to where he should she, he, it should install files. Maybe it's a he. Maybe where install manager should install files to. And we can set that in the ready to download tab. And that's down here. So currently it says content path shortcuts. This is actually a drop down menu if you add other folders in there. So I currently have two folders, one for my regular um, recommended DAS Studio Poser content folder, which is exactly the folder I just showed you. So it's in uh, it's my DAS 3D library. That's what the folder is called, no matter if you're on Windows or on a Mac. And I've created another folder here, which is the DAS PA folder for kind of pre-release files that I'm uh, testing things with. And to create another folder in here that is selectable in Install Manager, you can select this icon here, the little gear icon next to that. And if you do that, then you can add another folder in here. So right now, these are the two folders that I already have, but you can also press the plus button, label it and set a path to the folder. So it's a second runtime library, if you will, just the second overall folder in which things will be installed. And uh, as soon as you do that, I already have done that, you can then hit accept. And if you want to install another product, so like, let's just pick the first one from the list here, 1936 AM sedan. If you tick that and without hitting start queue, as soon as you have this show details option open here, you can select which folder you want to install your content in or in which folder you would like DAS install manager to install your content in and that it will do then from then on. So even if you hit, even if you select several products, you can either set them into separate folders if you like, or you can just select lots of them at the same time. So maybe we'll select this product and this product as well. And uh, now I can just make sure they all go into that folder. And then you hit start queue and then those packages will be going into your other runtime folder. And in DAS Studio, it's kind of a similar way to do it in which you need to tell DAS Studio, hey, there's another runtime library in which my content resides. So you do that here. There's several options to do that, actually. There's either on the content library, which is down here. There's this little disclosure triangle uh, up here, this little context menu. If you head over there, then there's an option to edit your content preferences and there's the content directory manager. So if you click that, then you get to this dialog in which you can then say where are my DAS Studio formats and where are my Poser formats. And here it's a matter of just uh, clicking the DAS Studio formats and then adding a directory here with add. 
and uh, you can also set up a new one and this will then allow you to open a standard file open dialog on your operating system and navigate to the folder that you want to use for content and then dastv will have a look into that as well and the same goes for poser formats you can do that for poser and for das independently if you have that Another way to get to this content directory manager screen is of course to head over to your DAS Studio preferences which are either under DAS Studio preferences on a Mac or they're under I believe edit preferences on Windows and at the top here you have a content tab and that has the content directory manager in here as well and it gets you to the same window. So make sure you set both of these things up, it could be different drives, could be network drives, could be just different locations on the same hard drive. And then both Install Manager as well as DAS Studio know that there are two locations for your content and you can access them and uh, update them and delete content from them in the same manner as you usually do. That's it for now. I hope this was helpful. I will see you in the next video about DAS Studio for more Schnickschnack and shenanigans. Take care. Bye bye.